welcome back to the course and let's continue with the option which we found in the SQL workshop which is the RESTful services which mainly deals with this course so before going to the detailed part here you can see there are various definitions like odds and various stuff so we'll just dive with an example and understand the purpose of how this API is done so here in this RESTful service first you have to register your schema with the odds and if you click on that button you can just define your alias schema alias and i'll just leave it as it is for me and you have to make the option enable restful access that's important and we'll save this for now and this will be creating a new restful service for us and this will be linked to the odds and you can see that various uh, sub definitions like the modules privileges are done we'll get back to that i just want to tell you the approach of an api here so if you go to this modules and you can see that this is the url this is the endpoint url and if you can want to fetch the employees this uses the employees table for fetching the apis so let's copy this uh, for now and let me go to the other tab and let me paste it again which i have copied earlier and pasting this you'll get in the form of a json object and you can see uh, it listed me some data from the employees table like the salary and other stuffs and you can list it from here and this shows me the way of representation of data from the json 